Early Access provided by EA via Monkeys, presented by EA Game Changers. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to take you on a tour of my luxury loft house that I've created on The Sims Free Play. I've used the items from the Lofty Lifestyle live event mostly to create this house, but I've also used items from other new events in this latest update, including Influence Islands Season 7 and 8 and Sim Chase Season 26 Bathroom and Breakfast Bedlam. Check out the update posts on my blog for more information on all of these events. I decided to create a penthouse using the items from the Lofty Lifestyle Live event because when I think of Lofty Lifestyles I think of penthouse apartments. So I thought this was a great way to showcase some of these new items. I didn't want the elevator leading directly into the house so we have this little entrance hallway here so the front door is there so that is the entrance to the apartment you don't want people getting the wrong floor in the elevator and then entering your apartment by mistake the front door leads into the hall area so we have a coat stand here we have that gorgeous bookcase that is from the live event I really love this bookcase it's got a ladder attached to it there's a great animation of your sims throwing books off from the ladder whilst they're trying to find a certain book, so that's really cool. This archway here leads into the living room. So I wanted this to be a very spacious area, but not too cluttered. So I didn't fill up every single space there was with something which is very unusual for me. There's another archway here that leads into the kitchen. So this is a bit dramatic, we've got the green walls, I don't know why I made them green, I just wanted to add a bit of colour to this build, as it's mostly quite pale. In Sim Chase Season 26 you can find these gorgeous kitchen counters, I really had to include them in this build, I especially love that island with the stove on it, really gorgeous. This table and chairs is from the live event, you do get the first 6 chairs for free with this table. One of the changes they've made in this update is the placement of wall lamps. So as you can see, behind the kitchen counter there we have a wall lamp. Before that wouldn't have been possible, you wouldn't have been able to place it on the same spot as that counter. So they have now changed this to make them more like paintings, so you can now place something in front of the wall lamp, which is really great. The back door leads out to the pool and some lovely planters here. Just a lovely place for your sins to relax and enjoy the view. Let's head back into the living room now and to the three doors down this side. So let's go to the door closest to the entrance. So I've created sort of a home office here, but also a laundry room. Because this sim is working from home a lot, so they've had to put their desk somewhere quieter than the rest of the house. This has definitely been the reality for a lot of people, so I thought we would embrace that and just make this into a functional room for two things at once. So here we have a little shower room. I really love this toilet, sink and even the shower is really cool even though the colour doesn't match completely with the rest of the items. But there's also a toilet roll holder, you can just about see it there, which I think is really gorgeous. Those are all from Sim Chase Season 26 again. The last room is the stairway. 
So this leads upstairs. I had to use that gorgeous pug painting as it fitted perfectly in that space. Let's head upstairs now. So this leads out to a lovely mezzanine with doors leading off it. I really love the use of mezzanines in all houses, I just think they complete it really. Let's take a look at the bedrooms on this side first. This first bedroom I designed for a teenage sim. I really love that butterfly wallpaper so I had to include it in this build. I don't get to use it as much as I would like. Even though the bed is not from the same set as the rest of the items in this room, I think it works really well with them. This room has an ensuite toilet and also it has a door leading out to the balcony area. Let's take a look at the next bedroom. This one has the same layout as the first. So again, it has the ensuite and it also has the door leading out to the balcony. The bedroom layout is different though. There is a bigger bed in this one. I designed this for an older sim, possibly a guest. This could be a very nice guest room. On the other side of the mezzanine we have two doors, one of them leads to a bathroom and one of them leads to the master bedroom. So let's take a look at the bathroom first. The bath was from a previous sim chase event but as there was no bath available in this event I used that bath because I think it went well with the toilet and the sink. This is the master bedroom, again I've used one of the really nice big beds from, I think this was from an Influence Island event, either season 7 or 8, can't remember exactly. Check out my update post for correct information on all of the events. And I've used the new wall lamp placement to create this vanity here using the chest of drawers and that lamp above it, which I really like. And this bedroom also has its own ensuite. But unlike the other two, this one has a shower in it. Let's take a look at this build from above now, so you can see the layout for everything.
that was my luxury loft house tour. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and please subscribe to my channel. I regularly post Sims Freeplay videos. I also have a blog, a GoGames.blog, blog, and on there you can find loads of posts about the Sims Freeplay, including all the update posts. Thanks for watching. Bye!